So how do we measure angles? Angles are measured by an instrument known as protractor. This has two scales, one in an anti-clock direction and one in a clockwise direction. So let's try to measure an acute angle. The first rule to measure an angle is that the center of the angle, which is this, should align or overlap with the vertex of an angle. So let's try and align them. The second rule is the baseline of the protractor should rest on one of the arm, either this arm or the this arm. So after aligning this, if you see that this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So the angle is measured as 40 degrees. So let's try to measure an obtuse So let's try to measure an obtuse angle. Now you can see that we have already followed the first rule. We have aligned the center of the protractor with the vertex of an angle. And we have rested the base of the protractor on one of the arm of an angle. Now, if we start counting from here, it's zero degree, 10 degrees, up till 90 degrees, 100, 110, and 120. So here you can see that this angle measured is 120 degrees. So let's take an example where we are trying to measure this reflex angle. Now we already know that one complete turn around a point that is this point or any point, it is 360 degree. We try to find out the internal angle and then we subtract that internal angle from the 60 degree to get, get our reflex angle. So I have already kept the center of the protractor on the vertex and aligned my base with one of an arm and now if I see the angle, the internal angle, the second arm is lying at 20 degree. So this gives us 20 degree, 360 degree minus 20 degree gives us that our reflex angle is 340 degree. Now, you have to make sure that whenever you are resting your base on one of the arm, you have to always look at the scale which starts from zero. So here the internal scale is starting from zero. So I'm looking at zero, 10 and 20. So this gives me a, my 20 degree angle.